Hello and welcome back to Saint Bernot. I'm actually pretty excited about today's episode, as with today's episode, we are finally finishing the old town. It is our last major project up here and we will be mainly focusing our attention on the areas around the castle as well as the palace. I know, back in episode 10 I said I would come back to the casino's main plaza and other market, but I thought about it and to be honest with you I'm going to leave it as it is right now, an open space. As we don't have too many open spaces in the city in general and especially in the old town, and open spaces can be useful from time to time, especially if you want to host some kind of event, right? That doesn't mean that there isn't a market at all around the casino's main plaza. There can be like a weekly based market or a monthly based market where the retailers come for one day, build up the stands, sell the goods and by the end of the day they disappear again. It's uh, nothing too unheard of in Europe and uh, actually common practice in my city. So I thought why not make it common practice for the market around the casino's main plaza as well. But yeah, enough of that and let me actually explain what I'm doing on screen. So I decided to add a few more blocks um, to the old town and extend it a little bit uh, further uh, around the palace as I don't know, it always felt a little bit incomplete uh, when, I looked, uh, when I looked on it from above, uh, while now it feels more coherent and more closed and more roundish I guess. <laughs> you will better see what I'm talking about in the cinematics and I will let you be the judge if it was a good idea or a bad idea. Um, you, can, you can tell me in the comments as usual. <laughs> I also decided to add another parking garage as we don't have too many like an underground parking garage, basically just a tunnel entrance <laughs> uh, to nowhere while this actually this tunnel is actually connected to the other parking garage we have at the parliament just to create some fake in and out traffic but yeah and uh, yeah, um, now we are coming to the gardens of the palace and um, I wanted to have some terraces around it and I'm using the park life pedestrian paths to basically outline the different terraces and um, yeah, terraform the terrain in the desired uh, shape. The most upper terrace is surrounded by a road, these are the Park Life Roads by Chameleon TBN. I use them all across the old town. Pretty useful network. I, I really love it a lot. It's, yeah, again, very, very useful. It's like a pedestrian, a very thin pedestrian road. Very flexible and very <laughs> versatile as well. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, for the most upper level I used, I used the road. Um, I, I don't even remember why exactly I used the road and not, not the passes, but uh, I'm, I'm sure it, has some, it had some reason. Um, anyways, after after I was done with uh, like um, putting every terrace in the desired height, I, I just had to like cover up the cliffs with walls and surfaces and add the stairs to connect the different um, the different terraces together. Unfortunately, yeah, now the stairs are functional, but unfortunately the Sims glitch a little bit through them as. Um, yeah, there wasn't uh, really the space to like uh, slope it correctly so it would match the slope of the stairs. Unfortunately, the whole system was a little bit stiff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, a little trade-off, but I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. I also added um, park life gates to, uh, to turn this whole area into a functional park and as the most upper level is made out of roads I used uh, invisible uh, invisible pedestrian paths to connect the gates with the lower network of paths so that this park would like function correctly. I think it would function even if I wouldn't have connected um, the passes but I think it would encounter uh, visitors uh, correctly. I also decided to continue on with the design we established back in episode 9 um, with the keys and the half towers uh, at the edge of the old town and in this specific location I decided to add a statue. I don't know, it, 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 it called for something, this area called for something and I, uh, I found this statue and it was like a perfect fit and I decided to keep it there. I'm actually pretty, pretty happy with how it turned out. <laughs> Also used uh, some terraforming networks to shape the terrain in the desired location, uh, in the desired shape. As um, yeah, it was, there was like many many networks pulling the terrain up or down, and it didn't look good. Um, I'm also using the small the small bushes, the tiny bushes, to like outline the different gardens and draw some basic um, designs into them, which will be later on filled uh, with uh, flowers. 
So my main idea for this whole gardens were like that one part of it would be very manicured and fancy and flowery and half pavilions and mazes and stuff like that while the other part of it would be uh, more of a wild garden approach. Um, I might come back in the future and make the manicured part a little bit bigger. You might uh, see that better in the cinematics, which part I'm, I'm talking about, like a little bit more to the left, just to like make it more complete again. Or I might, might just leave it as it is. Um, yeah, here I'm adding uh, pretty much the first, the first maze of uh, two mazes and um, yeah, mostly using the the prop edges to to draw. Uh, to draw a path and there's actually one path that takes you from one exit to the another uh, to the uh, to the other one while uh, all the other ways are pretty much uh, sacks. but uh, yeah for now I'm going to leave you with some music I don't know I, I came across this song and it felt very fitting for this uh, for the upcoming scenes so enjoy and I will be back in about two minutes That were a lot of flowers. Oh man. <laughs> I uh, also just quickly finished uh, the plaza in front of the palace. It was nothing too special. The basic design was pretty much already established. I just had to add the last, uh, the last details uh, here and there. Uh, it was nothing too, nothing too special. Also adding a whole bunch of trees to round up the whole look of everything, especially the park part of the, of the gardens. And uh, I later made sure that the tree line would be low enough that it wouldn't disturb the visibility from the lowest part of the terrace uh, onto the mountain or down onto the creek. I um, also decided to add these uh, viewing platforms just to break up the tree line a little bit more and have more variety. Um, more variety in it, I don't know, it, <laughs> I just came across it and felt like, oh yeah, good idea to add this one. I definitely need to add a few more, a few more of these. I think we have one at the, at the Hôpital de Saint-Marie, but uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Um, also adding a whole bunch uh, of details for the backyards of the blocks we created. Um, so uh, in the last episode I asked you for, for a replacement for Prop It Up. I actually found one and it's uh, called Bob, the tree and prop uh, replacer, I guess. I'm going to link it down in the comments, uh, down in the description. Um, it's actually working very fine for me, uh, although it's still in the beta. But uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about that when the time arises as uh, these are changes that are going to happen in about two episodes <laughs> as yeah this one was pretty much recorded in one go with the uh, with the one from the last one uh, from the last episode um yeah while i was while i was working in this area i also decided to like uh, work on the surrounding nature of the old town and uh, transition between um yeah the things that i've detailed to the pretty much map detail um Basically just added a few more trees here and there and a few more tree lines uh, creeping up the, the cliff and that was that was basically it. It will be again more apparent in the cinematics. 
and yeah finally moving up to the castle and uh, yeah right here I decided to add a beer garden and I thought it would be a good idea um, and a good location for a beer garden like um, the tourists would come and <laughs> walk around the castle get very very thirsty and tired and then come to the beer garden and have a cold cold beer and enjoy a few hours of uh, calmness um, I decided or what it was not like decided in this episode, it was actually decided long ago that the area around the castle would be kept pretty greenish and lush. And uh, yeah, I also added a few details to the castle's yard. I may have overdone it with the trees. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I might uh, come back in the future and, re and remove a few more of them. Uh, this is another good open space we could use for events. Um, yeah, but uh, that uh, I, I will look at it for a few episodes and uh, then make a, make a decision. And yeah, finally adding adding in the last uh, few details for the for the manicured part of the gardens, mainly on the keys as they are a little bit blank, just some benches and a few planters here and there. And I also decided to connect um, the park with the with the hotel resort we have down in Chateau just uh, to give Sims another entrance and also create like a little walkway from the neighborhood down at the lake uh, up to the old town and vice versa. Um, I don't know if sims are really using it to, to like uh, commute between neighborhoods but the possibility is there theoretically. And here I had I had to turn it again, uh, I had to turn it back into a bridge as the, the ground version of the pass didn't work, it was making funny stuff with the water and yeah. Uh, also added a whole bunch of rocks around the waters and it uh, around the water and it turned out that these rocks were not water confirming that means that they like blocked the water and in some cases it was fine in other cases it caused the river to dry up so I had uh, to either move them back or uh, exchange them for some traditional uh, breakwater rocks um, this will be again more visible in the cinematics but uh, yeah <laughs> it was it was very funny like I was recording the cinematics and suddenly I noticed like that the river dried up and I was like hey what is what is happening there and it took me a good 20 minutes until I like realized it was the it was the rocks which were blocking the water <laughs> but uh, yeah enough of enough of my craziness and uh, yeah it's actually also enough of this episode has <laughs> been pretty close to the end and uh, yeah I hope you enjoyed it and you enjoyed my crazy commentary it's early in the morning I just had my first coffee my brain is still sleeping so if you enjoyed this episode consider giving it a like if not give it a dislike I will see you again in three weeks until then have a good time